हेलो एवरीवन होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट वेलकम बैक टू फूड टेक गिग्स वेयर आई रचना शर्मा अपलोड वीडियोस लेक्चर्स ट्यूटोरियल्स करियर गाइडेंस वीडियोस एग्जाम रिलेटेड वीडियोस एंड अदर इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियोस ऑफ फूड साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी सो रिसेंटली एफ एस एस टेकन एग्जाम्स फॉर वेरियस पोस्ट लाइक फूड एनालिस्ट सेंट्रल फूड सेफ्टी ऑफिसर एंड देन टेक्निकल ऑफिसर एंड मेनी मोर सो दी सी बी टी वन हैज बीन कम्पलीटेड सक्सेसफुली सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस और वी विल एनालाइज द सी बी टी वन सो दैट इट विल गिव यू अ फेयर आइडिया लाइक हाउ दिस ईयर द क्वेश्चन पेपर वॉज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द लास्ट ईयर वन एंड दिस विल ऑल्सो हेल्प यू इन गेटिंग आइडिया ऑफ हाउ यू शुड प्रिपेयर फॉर योर सी बी टी टू सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड ऑल्सो सब्सक्राइब टू आर टेलीग्राम पेज सो दैट यू डो नॉट मिस एनी इंपॉर्टेंट अपडेट सो विदाउट फर्दर अड्यू लेट स्टार्ट आर वीडियो so if i talk about the pattern of the question paper so the question paper consists of two sections section 1 and section 2 section 1 comprises questions of like general knowledge uh, english reasoning and computer literacy and section 2 is uh, more of like food technology and uh, uh, food tech regulatory bodies and the again the section 2 is being divided into various subsections so we will be discussing every uh, subsection independently so if i talk about the uh, first subsection that was indian and international food laws it has total of 20 questions and the uh, level of the questions were from easy to moderate like the questions were not very tough so in this the questions were asked from the organizations uh, like uh the uh, fssci then codex alimentarius then the various important ministries like mofpi then the organizations like fao who so different questions were asked from these organizations and a lot number of questions were there from iso series also like uh, what uh, exactly this iso series is related to so uh, a number of questions were directly asked from the iso series and the questions from these organizations were not very uh, tough then we had questions uh, from food regulations and uh, regulatory bodies so what are the various regulations for particular food by uh, uh, fssci like uh, citing one question so one of the question was like uh, which section of fssci deals with the uh, Mm, infant food so such type of questions were asked about the uh, fssi regulations about the fss act and the various sections then we had the uh, questions on food adulterants so these questions were very easy like the coffee is being adulterated with uh, which of the substance and some uh, related questions were asked so these were slightly easy question and uh, anyone can attempt these questions based uh, based on their general understanding and then we have a number of questions on full forms so full forms are really very important so has a pfa fdca and many more uh, such uh, full forms were asked in the exam so these were the basic uh, structure of the questions being asked in this section then we had the next section which was fssci general understanding so this section was totally dedicated to fssci and it has also comprised of 20 uh, questions and the level of these questions were again easy to moderate and in this the focus was on fssci like uh, you have got a number of questions on fssci initiatives like serve safe and then cluster initiatives all these different initiatives and schemes of fssci were included and then again the full forms a number of full forms were asked like uh, the full form of gsfa nots egmark were asked so these are uh, easy one and uh, not very hard uh, type of questions were asked uh, on the full forms then a number of questions were also being asked on fortification uh, so like uh, what is the um, recommended amount of uh, vitamin a to be added in uh, milk fortification so such type of questions were asked and these questions can be easily answered if you have uh, gone through the ffrc website that is food fortification research center the website provides you every important detail on food fortification then a number of questions were from fss uh, act, act sections and then a number of questions were asked uh, about the uh, training of food safety inspectors like what exactly is the uh, time period for food safety uh, officers training and yes then the accreditation licensing auditing these were also being included in this section and 
a good overview of these topics was needed to answer these questions like these were from moderate level they were not that much easy so a good overview of these topics was needed to answer these questions properly then we have the third uh, section that was our domain section and it carries the maximum questions and it had total of 40 questions these uh, questions were slightly tricky like these were the questions with somewhere troubled students and uh, the question seems to be uh, from the level of moderate to slightly hard like some of the questions were uh, uh, slightly hard for some of the students and every section of food technology has been covered like uh, packaging regulations then food chemistry food nutrition analysis additives uh, preservation and processing techniques packaging technology food microbiology fermentation technology fortification standards so like most of the various domains of food technology has been included in this section so this was the analysis of cbt1 exam and the analysis of any exam is very important so that we can get an idea like how the exam is being uh, set up what is the approach of the examination uh, body so that helps us in the uh, second stage preparation so if i talk about the cbt2 uh, syllabus so fssci has released a notification that a separate syllabus will be uh, released for cbt2 but we can uh, follow our approach like we can start our preparation with those topics which are very important for any food technology exam so we are sure that these are the important topics which will be surely repeat it in cbt2 as well so for that what we can do like we are having enough time now so we can start our preparation by getting a deeper and better understanding of all the various food technology organizations the uh, food regulatory bodies and different important ministries so we can uh, go through the websites of fssci codex alimentarius then um, bis mapida apida so all these important uh, uh, organizations and authorities are very important you should know their establishment year their objective the uh, how many countries are their members like for fao who codex alimentarius commission the number of uh, members are very important their headquarters their organizational structure what the major initiatives they have taken and various re uh, related full forms to these organizations is very important for these exams so it is for sure that a number of questions will be asked from these sections so just start your preparation from these important websites visit these websites get a good overview of all these web, uh, important organizations that will surely help you in your cbt2 as well and along with that what you can do just uh, brush up your uh, food technology concepts so uh, start preparing those uh, topics which you have missed in cbt1 or the questions which you have attempted wrong in cbt1 so try to uh, focus on those topics brush up your all those topics because uh, uh, food technology concepts will again be asked in cbt2 as well and uh, maybe the standard of the questions will be higher than the cbt1 so as we have seen that for the domain section the questions were already tricky so be ready to have the level higher than cbt1 so just start preparing uh, for your concepts make your foundation strong and uh, what you can do you can uh, go with the basic important books like porter shri uh, lakshmi and other important books and you can also go for objective books because they will help you in getting your concepts uh, more clear and more uh, better understanding you will have with your concepts so just start preparation uh, with the mcqs from these different books and a number of books are being available in the market so these are the two things which we can do till cbt2 syllabus is being released all the very best for your cbt1 results soon it will be released by fssci keep your preparations at the peak and stay tuned with food tech geeks till then stay safe stay healthy thank you